Hello, and welcome back to Caves of Cud. It's been a couple of days for me. Hold on a second. I'm just turning things up a little bit. I guess I should turn that up. Okay. Um, it's it's been a couple of days, and uh, you know I've been I've been doing other things, and I gotta say I have not been excited to return to this character. Uh, this, this character does not inspire me, to say the least. Um, but you know, uh, I think that they will ultimately uh, be the be the chosen one. You know, they they are the, they are the prodigal child. I think, um, and eventually, I think they will do a lot for me to uh, to get quite a lot of achievements. Eventually, it's just it's just gonna take a long time before I get get in the swing of them, get in the swing of this character. You know, get to the point where we can kill crabs without worrying about dying, you know? Not not like magma crabs, like like big crabs. Uh not even big crabs, small crabs. We have a slug snout. Um luckily Lays has a very high chance of uh hitting its target, so I don't have to worry about missing and hitting these hermits. And uh, most of so, so um, there's been a couple of well, I guess one update since I last played and I'm pretty sure some of the interface stuff has been cleaned up. Oh my god. Oh Good lord. All right. We do not want to dabble in that evil um, Dominate creature. Let's do it No <sighs> the, the my least favorite thing with dominate creature is that if your friends, if your no, dominated creature is friends with the uh, adjacent creatures, you a, you can accidentally swap places with them rather than just, um, you know, attack them. So, this is this is one of the reasons I've I've not been excited to return to this. All right, so I'm gonna go in here as the hermit i don't i'm sorry hermit that i uh threw you at some chain turrets but i i, I kind of want to deal with those chain turrets i don't think that's gonna happen um we're gonna go downstairs and we're gonna continue and we have some putis templar we have oh excuse me what exactly happened there um let me see. Templar Squire appears to the south. Do I have the... I don't have the things to break. Oh, I do. Novice of the Sightless Way burrows. Uh, your mental mirror reflects the attack. The infiltrator to the northeast disappears. The novice of the Sightless Way to the southwest disappears. I don't, I don't understand what happened there. Um, but needless to say, we are not in a good good way right now can we maybe proselytize uh someone let's proselytize the novice of the sightless way never mind never mind i kind of hate proselytize the reason i hate proselytize and we died of course is because it, it gives you a the some kind of promise of of like some hope you know it, it promises hope but it never delivers on that hope it always makes me feel like, oh, well, maybe, no, never, actually never. We have like, uh, we have pretty good willpower and we have pretty not terrible ego for a crab. Why in the world can I not proselytize them? Is it not ego based? One would think that it is ego based. Let me, let me, I, I need to check this now because it's, it's happened. It's come up enough times that it's starting to bother me. <laughs> uh, you persuade an intel intelligent creature to join you. I, I don't know what... You're skilled. You are skilled. I don't know. I don't know. But... There's something with a laser beam somewhere. Not sure why I picked the fight with the uh, Quillipede. Did I just quantum jitter? Yeah, I did. Um, all right, I don't, I don't know where I am now.
I think we're we're in the mountains. Are we lost? Yeah. I, I think I do appreciate that you come out of the uh, vortex lost. It, that makes sense to me. I kind of want to do a run where, um, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna quick save. Yeah. I want to do a run where whenever there's a time uh, a, a vortex, you I, I must jump into it. That's the rule. No matter what I'm doing, I must jump into the vortex. I think that would be fun. By the way, uh, it's been five minutes now. I meant to open this episode by kind of letting you know what I'm trying to achieve. Uh, someone mentioned in, in my comments, was like, you should let people know what you're even trying to accomplish because I don't even know. And to, to you, I say, um, I don't really know either. It's it's kind of a haberdash. It's a it's a hosh posh of um, of of me of goals and maybe I get them and maybe I don't. Um, this character has domination and precognition, and these two uh, skills are are there purely as um, kind of achievement exploits. Meaning that certain things that happen, for instance, uh, dying certain ways, sh we, you would hope that precognition would help with that. Um, also, um, the amaranthine prism is uh, is something I'm going to have to acquire and then use precognition to equip it and then take it off, which is another achievement. Um, there's other things too. Domination is going to help me acquire a few of the end game achievements, there's an achievement to acquire every single face in the Tomb of the Eaters. And uh, rather than play six games, and you know, like I'll be playing Cud anyway, but I figure for the sake of the of acquiring achievements, I would use precognition to equip all of the faces and then take them off um, and, and, you know, undo that so I could get that achievement fairly quickly. Um, also, there is an achievement to give the repulsive device to all four of the uh, creatures in the Tomb of the Eaters. That is um, where domination comes in. I'm going to get, do that and then um, basically get them to give it back to me. Although I could just use precognition. It, it's, it's all the same, really. Uh, so those are some of the harder achievements to acquire. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm using, I'm using mutations to kind of, uh, cut to the chase on that. There's another, uh, few achievements like, um, activate a time cube and also donate a time cube. And for those things, I will also be using precognition. So precognition is here, uh, as a means to, to, uh, in, an in-game or in-universe way to exploit and, uh, break the rules. So, um... That is, those are sort of like the loose um, goals. I also want to make a bunch of recipes. That's another goal. Um, I also need to make friends with frogs. That's another goal. Uh, we're, we're, we're good now. We're no longer lost. Where am I? Uh, oh, I'm top right, top left corner ish. Okay. Well, let's go back through the jungle. No, I don't want to go make friends with goats. We're going back to Gritgate. I just want to get to Gritgate. I have yet to get to Gritgate because some madness keeps happening. And it really is mad. Worth noting um, that uh, centipedes are not friends with spiders because spiders are, in fact, uh, arachnids. Makes sense, right? Um, do I have any meds? I do not. Let's do an intimidate. I should, I should use that skill more often. It's a pretty good skill. Okay. I'm, I'm okay. I'm all right. There's a lot of bits down here. Wouldn't my, I would really like to get those bits. I'm sure I'm in danger right now. Um, let's go ahead and treat that as scrap and disassemble it. I'm actually not in danger. Who knew? Okay, we'll, we'll rest. You're famished. Good. 
Uh, I'm not inspired, but that's because I don't have the skill yet. Do I, do I have any skills? What do I have? I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> I could have muted myself. I did not. Okay, we do have, I, I did give myself cooking and gathering, so we could be inspired potentially, but we are not. That's fine. Um, we're going to go ahead and kill some more slimes. I might sneeze again. Um... I need, I need, what do I need? I really don't know. I could get another mutation, but I don't, I don't really want to. I kind of want to just dump some more points into light manipulation because it's just a very good skill. Um, I haven't even taken any combat skills yet for, uh, you know, sort of obvious reasons, but it's mostly out of laziness and I, I, I don't know what I want yet. I am picking up all of these bits. Oh, I, I'm disassembling them. I guess I already have disassemble. Did I already take tinkering? I did. That was smart of me. Good, good, good for me. I really did that. That was a good job. Good thing I did. Ape, you, you, you are a good friend. Thank you, Ape, for helping me. I'm sorry I, uh, I did you dirty uh, in a previous lifetime. God. Slug snouts. Okay, we're we're okay. Light manipulation is at four charges. Uh, we're gonna rest up. Okay, we got our, our Pewis Templar, and I'm pretty sure the that um, interdictor infiltrator, I guess, is what like creates problems for me. They seem to to do. I don't know, seemingly random things. I've never really understood what the infiltrators do. Um, but I've never really questioned it. We just got a, um, chem cell, and that's good because we don't, we didn't really have a chem cell before. We're, we're not, like, none of our common problems are solved right now. Like, we're, we're having to deal with very mundane things like power problems and also what kind of skill do we want to take for combat. Um, I guess this is a semi-high agility run, so we could possibly get into short blades. I say semi-high, but I mean plus one agility is, is you know, not, re not really that exciting. But for the most part, this is just an ego run. Um, it's a, it's an Esper run. Most of my combat is going to be, I'm going to rely on my mental mutations. And I'm kind of okay with it. Um, we do have a Gaslight Chris, which is a short blade. It is drained, however. Can we replace the cell? Yes. Let's go ahead and do that. That's, that's why we haven't been doing very much damage in combat. Gaslight Chris's, by the way, are great. They're, they basically rely on um, power their power generation uh, in for a high penetration like they don't rely on your strength for the, for the penetration which is great because our strength is awful absolutely garbage strength so you know good 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 stuff you're carrying too much stuff that's that's not good stuff that's bad stuff actually tools yo recoiler's got a new um tile I did, I saw that in the, uh, the notes and I was like, Ooh, I can't wait to see what those look like. And they look really cool. Uh, let's treat these plastic trees as scrap and disassemble them. I know that there is a use, a function to, um, plastic trees. I, I don't, I don't care to play so optimally that I make use of plastic trees in combat. Okay, how am I being attacked by something that I can't see? But I did, my mental mirror did reflect that. Mental mirror, um, surprisingly showing its use. Very surprised by that. Oh, bleeding has a sound effect now. Interesting. I'm gonna save. Um... This is a different, really different kind of run. I mean, it's not even a role play run. It's, it's something else entirely. I don't know what you would call this run. It's not, it's, it's, it really is almost an exploit run. Oh God, dominate. There you go. 
okay i i got the slug snout killed and that is the important thing um weird artifact examine that electrified steel longsword neat let's take the cell uh and i'm not gonna i'm gonna leave that behind it's fine but like i say this is not a this is not a melee run and i don't have the um inventory space to be carrying things like long swords for the sake of trade okay we are finally at grid gate it has felt like a absolute journey to get here but we did it complete the task i leveled up this is good Place a disc in tray, accept level based reward. Um, not yet, but I require entrance to the city for the purposes of trade. We will go and trade with uh, the person whom I, whose name I always forget. Hello, Mafio. Hello, I didn't forget your name. Why would I forget you? <laughs> no, what? I am going to buy your uh, recoiler. I haven't been auto picking up daggers. Uh, something I really miss is not is picking up <laughs> auto picking up daggers. Um, I really appreciate the auto pick up dagger mod, and I miss it <laughs> wholeheartedly. I truly miss that mod. I miss all of my mods. They they are there. I have some good mods. Okay, we're not gonna have a lot of water right now, but that's okay because we have a ton of um, artifacts that I need to examine. There's our grit gate recoiler. Uh, flaming iron mace. Well, we'll sell that. Electrified bronze dagger. That we'll examine that as well. Stun rod. We'll examine that. Maybe we should. We could like disassemble. We'll, we'll treat them as scrap anyway. Treat that as scrap. Disassemble those. Um, and then we'll sell the rest of the stuff We're really not in a good way for money right now. We could definitely use some more water uh, I might just sell some copper nuggets Let's just sell some copper nuggets Really miss um, in some ways our miss our old run. Um, I miss being having a, a, a legendary Icker merchant just like on tap like whenever we want um, that was really nice. Uh, miss having a jewel merchant, like, whenever we wanted. Uh, our, our, <laughs> the six day still in this run is not good. It's bad, in fact. Now we could, um, we have mechanical wings. Do we have, uh, what do we have? We have precognition, but what we really need, if we want to cheese... Golgotha is I need um, that specific mutation that is tech based psychometry we need psychometry I wouldn't mind cheesing um, Golgotha it would be worth it but it would mean running to Ezra to buy some bananas I'm lost in the jungle well I mean this is hardly a first in this run right what did I just kill? A Naftali Stalker. Kind of wish I had a uh, wait until my Lays um, is fully charged. We are inspired. Let's cook a meal. Actually, don't we have? Um, well, let's let's choose some ingredients. Let's try cooking with Yonder Cane. I have been neglecting to do this forever, basically. We'll just cook with the Honor Cane. It'll probably give us teleport. Can use teleport other at level one or two. That's not bad. I would prefer having just teleport, but that's okay. Their dip, I like that. Their dip is pretty good. And now we have enough glimmer um, because teleport other is being uh, upgraded to six. That's fine. Um, teleport other is a, is a, is a good uh, kind of like panic button uh, mutation But here's the thing I want to choose from a recipe we're gonna we're going to whenever you drink fresh water There's a 25% chance one of your negative status effects is removed at random. We want to do that Okay, so now we're gonna drink some water uh, The reason we're doing this I'm sure I, I kind of hope this isn't patched out because I really like this. This is one of my favorite little 
things that you can do in, in cud but um lost is actually a status effect and it is a negative status effect and so if you have the ability to get rid of negative status effects uh, which i am doing right now then you can actually get unlost by drinking water which is a pretty great thing i love that i really don't want that to be a thing that disappears so we're gonna just continue drinking water I'm assuming oh we are still we are actually hungry so I'm gonna have to cook another uh, meal let's go ahead and cook that meal and then drink some more fresh water so it's a 25% chance so we're probably gonna have to drink water a few times before we lose you drink too much you vomit that's fine. We are also kind of blowing through our water, so it's not like this is, this doesn't cost us in some form. I, I don't ever want to check out the roasted boar, whatever. Oh, okay. All right, that's a that's kind of a problem. There is in fact a uh, seed sower. Seed sower will absolutely destroy us, no question. What is that? I don't think I've ever seen one, seen one of these. Bizarre contraption. Uh, well, n neither has my friend, so. Uh, hoping we can dominate. I want to get rid of this leech, actually. Can we dominate you? Yes. Oh, God. Okay. I made, I made a portal. I am attacking the other goat folk bully. I was I made sure to uh, hit that um, that other button. Now, are we lost? We are unfortunately lost, so I can't use my mechanical wings to fly away. We could attempt a proselytization, or I could just zoot. And that was my last zoot. Chrono Cosmo Chrononaut was an achievement I just got, and oh no, twenty-five strata deep. Hey, uh, friend, can we proselytize you? Oh my god, that was a very lucky proselytization. So, we do have a Pewtis Templar. Um, they are injured. Doesn't- oh, very tough. We could potentially kill them, actually. They are getting- they got hit by, uh, a frog. But unfortunately, I have run out of lace charge. Hey, there's a Dromad caravan down here. Somewhere. I gained 600 experience. Uh, let's see if the Dromad caravan couldn't possibly help us in this situation. Uh-oh. That frog over there kind of spooks me. Yeah, the, the frog. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Uh, it would not surprise me if I die here. Mm, they are not intimidated, in fact. Can we proselytize you? I didn't think so. Okay, I'm gonna sprint. I'm not- I'm not out of this yet. Also, did I turn off flashing effects? And uh, is it user interface? Disable tile base? No, disable most tile base flashing effects. I, I find that the flashing effects for the tile is not that severe. I really don't know if anyone would have a problem with them. Let me know if you... It, it, like, I don't know. It, it's... This, the flashing is so slow. I can understand maybe being bothered by them, but not necessarily having uh, photosensitivity problems with them. But either way, um, you know. Okay, can we... We're gonna dominate you. Nope, we're not. We're gonna die. Okay. Yeah, we do have uh, quite a lot of adventures on this run, do, do we not? Uh, I just wanted to go to Ezra. Okay, please do not get lost again. I hate that they, there's like a little fly here. Whenever I, I, I teleport here. They are an Adai, and they will mess me up. Don't mind me, just uh, having some coffee. A mural. 
with some Sultan history. All right. Um, I don't think I have enough money to buy. Oh, I definitely don't have enough money to buy the uh, Ezra, Ezra recoiler, but um, I, you know, I will check anyway. I guess I could sell this rough topaz gemstone, but I, in fact, need to buy some banana. I need to, ban but I need to buy a banana. <laughs> Give me a banana, my my friend. Me, um, some of them. I guess that would be fine. Um, I suppose I can just preserve it. I don't need to buy a sun dried. I don't need to buy sun dried bananas. This is actually more cost effective in some ways. I need to buy a banana. Um, really don't want to offer my, uh, okay, chem cell. Drain chem cell. Perfect. Yeah, this is fine. Okay. We are not inspired. That's fine. Now, there, I, I have in the past done this, uh, before. I'll try it again, but, um, you can, in fact like use the psychometry that you get from here to uh cheese golgotha but it's kind of not worth it because it's it's difficult to achieve for one thing no cell huh can we recharge that cell no okay all right i really have um i am running into power problems in, 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 a, in a most severe way. There are hostiles nearby. Are there? Yes, there are. What do you mean there are still hostiles nearby? Okay. So, it's not that far to Golgotha. But it's exactly far enough that if you want to cheese it with the psychometry you gain from... Um, Ezra, you will have to stop and you will have to eat some snacks. And I don't really have that many snacks. I'm really uh, running into quite a lot of problems. You, you discovered a way to conceal yourself. How did I do that exactly? I lost psychometry. Why did I lose psychometry? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. I'm not even hungry. Why did I lose psychometry? I mean, whatever. It, like I said, it's a pain in the butt, and that's why I don't I don't do it. I truly do not. Um, I have done it before, but it's annoying, and uh, I don't like having to eat snacks in order to maintain my satiation. Um, I could take the skill, you know, the skill. Um, people have pointed me towards these skills many, many times. Um, which are the skills that uh, make you hunger a lot slower. If you took those, I'm sure you could make it. And, and therefore, you could, using the um, psychometry that you gain from uh, Ezra, you could you could cheese Golgotha very, very easily. I am still going to cheese Golgotha very, very easily, but I'm just not going to do it with the psychometry I gain. Oh, I guess you only get one side sun-dried uh, banana. What a, what a absolute ripoff. So we got psychometry, um, therefore we're just going to walk through this door, and I have mechanical wings. There is a chance I will die from this, therefore I'm going to quick save first. We, we have every potential to die right now, but that's fine. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, at least I got an achievement, free falling. That's uh, the first time I've died from falling. That's a lie, but that's the first time I've died from falling. It's, it, it's not even the first time I've died from falling down the shaft in Golgotha. But it's the first time I've died from falling in the shaft in Golgotha uh, since they added the achievement. If you're wondering why that happened, by the way, there's a chance every single time you move... Um, while flying that you will just fall and if you happen to be above a shaft which I was at the time 
um, then you will just continue to fall until you hit the bottom. Remember, it's not the fall. It's the sudden stop at the bottom. Um, now, I would love to dabble in fighting brown slimes, of course. Uh, I cannot, unfortunately, dominate. You cannot dominate a slime. It's impossible. <laughs> do we have power in our... All I ask is that we have power in our grass like Chris. We do. Okay, so that will afford us quite a bit of... Ah, get out of here. Eel. We're going to be sludgy. We're going to be slimy. We're going to be awful. Everything is terrible. But we are going to get our way droid and we are going to get out of here and we are going to be safe he says after having uh, like died i don't know how many times in this run i have probably died more often in this run than i have in any other run okay we're out golgotha has been cheesed well done well done, me. And I don't even think we contracted any horrible problems. So let's go ahead and uh, clean ourselves up. You gotta, you gotta kind of do this a couple of times because this stuff is hard to to get off. Um, we ourselves are still kind of sludgy, so I, as just as a like paranoid caution, will. Um, pour some water over ourselves on yourself let's do like five drams and eh, that's still not doing it we're still sludgy i don't want to be sludgy i guess uh you know you can't necessarily there we go we're, we're we're good now i drank a little bit of water i think that actually no never mind we don't have that effect on right now Okay, so uh, we could just like I'm gonna I'm gonna save. We could just like walk to Golgotha. I should have used precognition before I did that, and that, that way I would have had an, at least an in-universe ex you know way of cheesing Golgotha instead of loading. I'm sorry, I'm u making so many use uh, like I I'm using the save and load system so much. I'm sure that's bothering someone. Uh, do know that I don't care. <laughs> like. I've had this conversation with a few people before, like, oh, you're, oh, whatever. Like, you know, I, I have been hard on myself a number of times when it comes to, um, you know, quote unquote, playing the game invalidly. And I've had this conversation even with myself a number of times, playing the game invalidly is a really truly meaningless statement. And I don't care to even argue with myself about it anymore. Never mind other people. So, um, I guess, you know, if it does bother you, then I, 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 I recommend you seek other, uh, hills to die on, to be honest. But, you know, like, it's a, it's a, it's, you know, I'm doing this for entertainment pur purposes, both my own and yours. If it, if it's bother, if it bothers you, then I guess then you're not being entertained. So, that really is all it is. Um, yes. So, we're good. And I'm gonna go talk to the Jacobo. I always forget everyone's name. Otho. Complete the step. Hologram bracelet. Brathermites have been increased to 3,000. Discuss the signal. Yes, I do. Get the signal stamped. Talk to Q girl. Speaking of uh, being really bothered by things that don't matter at all. There's a lot of people who are bothered by Q girl and I do not understand that. I'm sorry, I'm not on the same page. It's just a character. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to like the design, but it, being bothered by them is truly um, a mystery to me. I don't get it. Se seriously, it's weird. Like, um, you know, the Q Cud is a, is really, uh, you know, a collection of oddities. That's, you know, it's very, that's very much its personality. So I think that if you're, if you, if, if a character it, it bothers you because they are odd, 
And I mean, that's really, when you sum it up, the number one complaint I hear... I'm going to check out this named location over here. Uh, the number one complaint I hear is like, oh, uh, Q-Girl is such an original character TM. I mean, all you're saying is that you don't like that they're strange. You know, like, it, it's, it sounds like, well, um... <sighs> Someone like Q Girl was made with intention. They were made intentionally strange, and so you are your your problem is really that you find that that strangeness is disingenuous, as opposed to all of the other things in Cud that are totally genuine, right? Like all of the other strange things in Cud are are genuine except for Q Girl. Q Girl is the only thing that is not genuine. They were written to be um, this like simulcrum of uh, of oddities of like some kind of tween fantasy, right? I don't know. It, it seems to me that you're kind of nit like cherry picking, because like all of the other things are fine, right? Like the jewel baboons, that those are fine, right? Space time vortex is oh man, how original! It's not like I've heard of that before. That's totally genuine, but like, Q girl, no. We we cannot uh, have any pretense of like a character with with some kind of like personality quirk. That would just be too much, right? I I, I just I think it's kind of juvenile. I know I'm like probably ripping on some of my audience right now, maybe not wise, but like I don't know. I've I've seen this complaint come up so often that it it, it like it bears mentioning <laughs> like for real like how can you be bothered by this i don't understand when everything else in cud reflects the same kind of like bizarre and like intentionally quirky um persona why is it that this one character is like a problem it just feels very cherry picky you should buy, you know, objectively, you should be bothered by everything else as well. But I don't know. Anyway, I guess, uh, you know, I, I guess me being bothered by someone being bothered is just as juvenile. I'm willing to admit that. But heck, if I can't die on a hill as well, if the entire Internet can't die on a hill, if one person can buy a company for forty four billion dollars, and die on a hill, then I think that it is totally within reason for me to also die on a specific and uh, very niche hill. <laughs> Why not? At least I didn't spend a bunch of money on this hill. Um, Alright, so we're gonna just come in here and shoot a bunch of lasers and then, you know, uh, run out again. Oh, I'm inspired. I should definitely make use of that. Okay. Alright, so this is a baboon-based na uh, name location. Oh yeah, Thirst Thistle. I didn't mean to do that. You are famished. I'm famished and I, I just want to deal with a few little jerks here. Oh, there's another legendary baboon. What What's what's up with you? Loved by Dareth... Deathrisis... Oh my god. Never, uh, hated by Kragmensch. And the villagers of Dagashan. That's great. We really want to make good friends with tons of named villages. Um, because we're going to need them for the slinth. We're going to need that reputation for the slinth. Um, if you would like to know more about the slinth and why I care. Can we... Uh-oh. Oopsie doodle. Uh, actually, this is great. Because the... Uh, actually, it's not great. That legendary baboon is now... How many strata deep in the end of the ground? 
And now I am 14 strata deep. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Why is there also a, a vortex down here? Capacity is too weak. Are you running away from me? Sprint. Sprint. I need that. I need that reputation. Okay. How wounded are you? Injured. Um. Can I? No. Oh. I keep saying, oh, can I proselytize you when I know the answer to that is no. I need to get some meds. This is not okay. Um, you know what? Let's, uh, can we do a, a precognition? Let's do a precognition. I should have done one earlier before I jumped into the vortex, but that's fine. My, uh, like, combination keys are, like, straight up not working in cut, and I'm not sure why. Let's try and... Oh, we actually succeeded in proselytizing them. Uh, why are you running away, sir? Sir? This howler, uh, gives me some amount of anxiety. You sense your imminent demise. Lead slug. Would you like to return you? This? Yeah, start return to the start of my vision. All right. Um. Well, can we, can we prostatize? We knew that worked. Never mind. It doesn't work this time, and now I died. Oh man, this is a this has been a run. And also, um. Okay, uh, this is gonna mark the end of the episode. So I I don't know. I'm taking on a named location. I guess that's that's what I'm doing. Um, there's not really much I can do except, you know, grind, a, grind our character up a little bit. Um, I, I am tempted to try and do start a different character because this one's really not working for me. But it's the only reason it's not working for me is because we are criminally under equipped. Um, once we get some better equipment, things will start to turn around a little bit. Like we, we have like, what, steel plate mail? It's not great. Not good stuff. So anyway, if you did enjoy this episode, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And, and thank you very much to the subscribers of the coffee. Uh, I really appreciate y'all. And uh, hey, I'm launching a discord. I know uh, everyone and their dog has a discord, but hey, I'm, I'm launching one as well. So um, there should be a link in the description if you want to check it out and come and uh, chat with me or other like minded uh, simples. Um, but uh, yeah, it's there for the purposes of uh, bombarding you with notifications. You can opt out of notifications if you want. Um, and there are also some extra special goodies. And I will also be throwing some legacy series that I will be unlisting on YouTube on there if it interests you. Um, thanks again. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.